What happens on vacation stays on vacation. Unless there are just too many skeletons in the closet. Keep watching to feel a little bit more cautious before you go on your next vacation and find out what book we're talking about today. Hi, I'm Kyla Denagno and welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about the book We Were Never Here. The book was written by Andrea Bartz. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is suspense thriller. So, I, I know where to start with the book, right? I've already given you the four points, but this book, let's get into a really important plot twist. So a really important plot twist of the book was when Emily did not want to go on vacation again with her friend and she was having a lot of trouble with explaining to her why she didn't want to go. Like that peer pressure that was being put on her to go on this trip and it's like vacations should be fun they don't always have to be fun right they can be educational or whatever but you definitely shouldn't have to be pressured and pushed into going on vacation and then to not even be close enough to your friend to explain to them why you don't want to go on the vacation was even more problematic right so the book was full of privilege, arrogance of being young, arrogance of being an American, the audacity of these travelers, you know, just when Americans go to another country and you expect things to be convenient for you, not taking into account the fact that there are people who live here and they deal with these things every day and they're fine with them. And then you show up and you're like, well, why isn't it like that? I'm used to it being like that, right? It's just, there were a lot of different levels here. Um, and as a person who has used their passport once, me, I'm not proud of it. I'm, I'm making plans to, to use it more often. <laughs> but I remember leaving the States and going somewhere else. And yes, I certainly had moments where I was like, wow, we definitely don't do things like that where I'm from. But also, wow, I am not home. <laughs> I just took a plane ride to another country. I have a stamp in my passport. Things here are not supposed to be the way that they are when I'm at home, which is why I'm not at home, right? So whenever you are not home, things are different. However, this book, we were never here. These ladies went on vacation, they were cutting up and they never expected any of their drama or problems or issues when they were on vacation to come back to haunt them and sometimes they did. So it was a really good book. It was a really good book that was all about friendships and how much you trust someone and are your friendships shallow or are they real? So that was one reason why this book was really, really important to me. So would I reread this book? I would have to say no. The book was very entertaining and the author is a good writer. Um, however, I wouldn't need to reread the book. It was yeah, it did what it needed to do. My criteria for rereading a book is nothing scientific. It's just what I miss the characters, what I want to see them again in a different year. What I, you know what I mean? It's like what I want to interact with them again when I reread the book. I wouldn't necessarily need to do that with this one. But this book did make me reevaluate a lot of my friendships. So it was really good. It also made me want to pick up my passport and travel. Not do anything that was happening in the book, <laughs> but just travel. That was the discussion of the book. We were never here. Please leave a comment, let me know if you have used your passport lately or if you're planning to use your passport and where you're going. I would love to hear about what you're doing, where you're going, maybe get some ideas on where I should go next, okay? So if you've read this book or read any books by the author, let me know that as well and I will see you next week on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.